when enough people speak up, even when you have an administration like the Trump administration, you can be effective in stopping them from doing detrimental things. California residents have a message for President Trump, not off my coast. It's a response to his administration's move this month to expand offshore drilling, the largest expansion in U.S. history, allowing companies to lease areas off American coastlines and opening up federal waters off the California coast for the first time in more than 30 years. And as Kim Brunhaber explains, the backlash has already begun. You've never seen anything this cute, have you? <laughs> I'm not sure that's the word I'd use. What makes you like them so much? So many people don't know these animals have faces. Only someone who really, really loves mollusks could see a face in this. They're like the Zambonis of the seafloor. These bottom-feeding sea snails are white abalone. Apparently, they're delicious and were fished almost to extinction. Now, in a cramped lab at the back of a Long Beach aquarium, we're watching something special. This is how much I care about this species. Something that only happens once a year. Well, occasionally we turn on some berry white. It's breeding day. I'm attempting the gonad massage. Kristen Aquilano is trying to manually excite them into releasing their eggs and sperm. Do you get any sense that they're enjoying this? <laughs> I know I'm not. <laughs> this is not what she had in mind when she got her PhD. But according to her colleague Sandy Troutwine, this may be the only way to save the species. There are so few white abalone left in the wild that the chances of their eggs or sperm meeting in the ocean are very, very low. And could get even lower. They live off the coast of Southern California, an area so full of marine life it's known as the Galapagos of North America. But see those oil platforms off the coast? If the Trump administration gets its way, there could be many more. It has proposed opening up nearly all of American coastal waters, 4 million square kilometers, to oil and gas drilling. Out there you can see about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offshore oil platforms. We're off the Santa Barbara coast. In the distance you can barely make out an oil platform called Platform A. An offshore oil well owned by the Union Oil Company is blowing out of control. In 1969, a blowout caused one of the worst ecological disasters in U.S. history. So imagine this where I'm standing today, all of it covered in crude oil. Up to 16 million liters of oil gushed out, killing thousands of animals. A lot of people talk about that as kind of the birth of the environmental movement. Since then, most of the California coast has been off limits to offshore exploration. After the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, which leaked almost 800 million liters of oil, the Obama administration blocked future oil and gas leasing in most U.S. waters. But the Trump administration says that has cost the country billions in lost revenue. Environmentalists say the Horizon spill suggests the cost of expanding drilling could be far steeper. It's not a matter of if there's going to be an oil spill, it's a matter of when. Environmentalists say that would be catastrophic to many animals, from whales to the tiny abalone, which are so sensitive that even a minor change in water temperature can kill them. It weakens the shell so that they may be more prone to diseases or to predation or just simply falling apart. Back at the aquarium, it seems governor. like the abalone just aren't in the mood. I banned the berry white because I got a little sick of the berry white. <laughs> the females are shy, the male can't perform. So they're going to fetch a new male 200 kilometers away in Santa Barbara. But they fear time may be running out, not just for this fertility window, but potentially for the species, if exploration in these sensitive waters is allowed to proceed unchecked. It's the first major proposed offshore drilling expansion since 1984. The Trump administration says the move will create jobs and reduce dependence on foreign oil. And the association that represents the area's oil producers applauded the plan, saying this announcement could help California increase our domestic energy production. But 15 governors of coastal states, one-third of them Republican, oppose the expansion because they fear it could threaten fisheries and tourism. More than 150 members of Congress sent Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke a letter calling the move ill-conceived and short-sighted warning, where we drill, we eventually spill. Has the administration shown any sign that they'd li actually listen? Yeah, I think that's a good question. Um, you know, in, in a lot of cases, they haven't. This is a big day for our state to get the Secretary of Interior to say that they're not going to do offshore drilling. He should it seems Zinke did it's listen to the politics. governor of Florida, who asked politics. that his state be exempt so from the expansion. A, Zinke announced Florida was off the table, which was later refuted by senior officials. 
With so much confusion, environmentalists say the solution may not be political, but legal. Several Californian cities have already launched lawsuits against big oil companies for contributing to increased risk of climate change. California's governor has indicated he'll do everything in his power to block Trump's new drilling plan. The state of California can say, well, you can't bring that oil onto the state of California's land. You can't bring that into our waters. And then that makes it very difficult for the federal government to actually pursue uh, any new leases. Difficult, but not impossible. Well, that's perfect, Melissa. Thank you. Back at the aquarium, finally, the abalone are getting as frisky as mollusks can get. We have eggs! Hey. The new male has arrived from Santa Barbara, and he's stud. These new animals represent the future. But that future is uncertain. The sperm was flying. Even if they do successfully breed, their fate, like that of countless other marine species, may ultimately be decided not in the water, but in Washington. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Long Beach, California.